What's up, traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol ABUS for Arbitus Biopharma. On the left hand side, we do have the daily time frame, and on the right hand side, the 30 minute intraday time frame. First things first, this will, of course, be an update. We've talked extensively about the importance of this point here $5.05. We failed to even get anywhere close to it on the Friday session, and we actually started to fill even more of the gap down underneath us. The main concern I have with this stock at this point in time is simply what's going on with volume. Volume, huge lack of interest. I mean, there was a big, you know, shock and awe move, took us higher, a lot of people interested. You can see the big volume, and that's quickly fading away. So anyone who took quick profits in here is gone. They've forgotten about it, the stock. They're moving on to the next big thing, the next big gapper. Um, so if you're still uh, holding this one long, if you're long from anywhere down here, I would really start thinking about tightening up either a stop loss, starting to take some more profits. And if you're long from up here and you're underwater on the position, I'm making this video to sort of ask you some questions that you need to answer personally, I can't tell you when to buy or sell anything legally. And also it's just really not my place. Um, but start thinking about how much money am I willing to lose on this? How much time do I want to give to this setup? Because essentially your money's tied up until you end up hitting that sell button. How much time do you want to give it? How much of a loss are you willing to take? And how much brain power do you essentially want to give this thing? Because I guarantee you, if you're long from somewhere up here and you know, I, I would hate for that to be you, but if you are long from up there, then and I'm sure you're thinking about this thing nonstop, late, you know, waiting for the next news catalyst, thinking about, oh, what if this happens or what if this news comes out or so on and so forth. It just turns into a mental drain and really drags you away from other opportunities in the marketplace. So again, this big lack of volume as this is dramatically tapering off and really just not trending in the right direction. If you look at the 30 minute, I mean, it's quite clearly to the downside. Low, our highs are getting lower. Lows are also getting lower. It's just not a good thing right now. Uh, again, how much brain power do you want to, uh, you know, give to this? How much time do you want to give to this? How much of your money do you want to give to this? Essentially, there's no guarantee that it will ever come back higher. And as we know, we do have some significant resistance here at the 505. Anyways, the last thing I'll do, which is more of a technical thing, less of a psychological thing would be just to put on this resistance trend line. Technically speaking, we did get into it into the end of day on Friday in the post market. We're a little bit lower 407 by 410. So backing off slightly, uh, if we're above fine, maybe we stay within range and maybe there's a move back to here. Maybe. What it would require would be significant volume down below. So if, if volume, you know, can't really get back to even, you know, let's just call it 10 million shares per 30 minute bar, then it's just simply not going to happen in my opinion here inside of Arbitus. And again, you should start asking yourself those questions if you're underwater on the position. Uh, and again, if you're long from down here, congrats, you have a great trade on your hand. You probably made more than 50% and you should start thinking about tightening uh, that stop loss up or potentially taking some profits. So with that being said, that's the update to talk about on ABUS. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything new today, let me know in the comments section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.